So once again, I'm Ryan, and uh, we showed you how to take a sleeve off, so now we're gonna put a sleeve back on. Uh, there's a couple different methods you could use to do that. Uh, one of them is heat it up with a torch and slide it on if it's a press fit. Uh, you could also use a bearing oven, or you could use a bearing induction heater, and that's what we're gonna be using today. So the bearing induction heater, you just slide the sleeve onto the bar, set the bar on the deal, and you turn it on. And you wait a little bit for it to heat up. It doesn't take very long. Uh, the sleeves, they go up. Uh, our engineering standard is 222 degrees for them to be able to slide on to the shaft. Uh, we always put anti-seize underneath the sleeve. We'll go ahead and put some of that on there. This helps with the ease of installment, and also, as you saw us take it off, that helps us get it back off as well. This is a nice thin coat, it's all it takes. Uh, you can do this on bronze, stainless, CI sleeves, anything that is a press fit. Also wanna look for burrs that are on the edge of this. Uh, we didn't see any when we started, so we're okay. If you have a bird, uh, it might slide on while it's hot, but as it cools down, as you slide it on, it could catch that burr and stop and cause your sleeve to hang up. So the thinner sleeves typically don't take as long as the thicker sleeves to heat up. Thicker sleeves take a little bit longer. We just use a uh, thermo heat stick. Check the temperature as we go. When the wax of the stick melts on the sleeve, you know it's hot enough, so we're almost there. I always use a rag or an oven glove to hold the sleeve after you pull it off the heater so you don't burn your hand. You want to make sure you push the sleeve all the way against the shoulder that it's going to ride on. I always give it some little twist while I'm pushing on it, just so I can tell when it's locked down and I can let go. To wipe off any excess anti-seize that might have got pushed back in between the shoulder and then let it cool down and go along with your pump building process.